Okay, folks, so this is gonna be a run through of the challenge chair. Um, the challenge chair is just a quick CAD exercise. Again, our goal is to be right around the three minute and 45 second mark. Um, so it's something you have to do a number of times in order to really get it. So I'm just gonna run, run you through this real quick here. Uh, one thing I want you to note, my keyboard will uh, make this weird circle thing when I hit the control key, which I use specifically to show off different things. So the first thing we're gonna do, doesn't matter which one of these planes you grab, grab one of them. Come in here, toss in a rectangle. You can see I have three point rectangles selected, but there are a number of different options, okay? Uh, I'm gonna toss dimensions on that rectangle of 16. I'm gonna toss a height dimension on it of 16. I'm gonna click finish sketch. I'm going to extrude that. Oh boy, there we go. Doesn't matter which direction it goes. It does have to go a distance of 1.6 inches. Hit enter. Come in here, toss another 2D sketch on here. In each one of these corners, I need more rectangles. Each one of these rectangles needs to be 1.6 by 1.6. Jogaline is about to walk into my room and make some loud noises. Turns out he walked in pretty silently, impressive. 1.6 by 1.6. All of these legs need to be the same size. You can cheat, make the dimension, you click on your previous dimension and they will all become that size. You could also probably use the mirror tool here if you decided to. This guy up here looks like he is fully constrained. I hit finish sketch. We're going to extrude this down. Each one of these extrudes down 16 inches. I'm going to be late for lunch because of this, guys. All the chicken tenders will be gone. Okay, I've tossed a, a sketch plane on this surface right here. I'm going to draw a circle. I'm going to dimension that circle. The dimension, as you can guess, is going to be 1.6. It's kind of the beauty of this whole thing. Additionally, I'm going to use a tangent constraint to make that guy just perfectly kiss that line. The dimension from the bottom up to here. Somehow I stopped sharing my screen. Uh, the dimension, again, from the bottom surface to the center of the circle should be 1.6 times 3. Don't do that in your head, just do it in CAD. Now you can see that. I finished my sketch. I'm going to extrude that across. You can do 14 inches. You can also do two. Either one will work. Okay, so you can see that is coming across there. This white color is not doing us any justice, um, but you can see that coming across there. Now I'm going to draw the leg right at the back, the key, or the, sorry, the back support coming off the back. The key to that is using three point rectangle. Additionally, I found it's helpful if you do another rectangle sitting down into the bottom of the uh, seat. Right here is a 1.6 degree dimension. Again, we don't always dimension to degrees, but sometimes we need to. Okay, you can see stuff has flipped around on us and that's not great, but I think we'll figure it out. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna click here and drag, and there you can see I fixed that problem. I put a dimension on here of 1.6. Okay, and there's that. From this point here, to the back of the top is got to be 16 inches and it has to be in a lined dimension. You want to zoom in, get close, click, and there you can see now it's in a lined dimension at 16 inches. Finish sketch, I'm going to extrude that out to, as you have probably guessed, 1.6. That needs to be an extrusion backwards and it does not need to be a cut, it needs to be a join and we need to learn how to type 1.6. And there's that. Um, you can see here, I've had an issue with the selection here and it's not giving me this. I need to click on that. Now I have it. Now I'm ready to extrude, click okay. I'm gonna spin around, I'm gonna start a sketch plane right here. And I am going to draw the rungs of the chair, the back rungs, the things that keep your back, I don't know what they're called guys. Did grab on there. 
Uh, Inventor has what's called snaps in it, and snaps can be something we kind of have to manage. Uh, they make some of our CAD a little faster, and they make some of our CAD a little bit more difficult. So just something to be aware of. Uh, make sure your snaps aren't sneaking up on you. And the air compressor just kicked on. I love that for us. Uh, 1.6, how did I forget that? Click finish sketch and extrude that. I uh, low-key don't know in my head what the number should be here. I'm pretty sure if I do eight, it'll all work out though. So I'm gonna go with eight on that, okay? Now we're going to come in here, we're gonna use a plane. This is the part that everything, everyone hates about me and disagrees, but I love the plane tool. You can see if I come down here, I've selected mid plane between two planes right there. That is the key to this. I grab that. I select this edge of the chair. I select this edge of the chair. I get a plane through the middle. I come up here to mirror and I select everything I want to mirror. And I select my mirror plane. Click OK. My chair is done. That's it. Um, this isn't perfect. I'm trying to get to lunch as fast as I can uh, and still get this uploaded today. So yeah, I'm sorry, um, but that is that. I hope this was helpful. I've got to figure out how to end Zoom. I haven't done this in so long, there it is.